Hi, I'm John Paul. And I'm Olivia. And we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Juniors will celebrate a class mass in the chapel tomorrow during WIN. Please arrive in the chapel within five minutes of the bell and remember to get rid of any ear pods or gum. Remember to complete the Seder Spice form in a Canvas announcement by Friday. Nominate someone to represent your class, and you can also sign up to be included in a drawing to participate in the trivia challenge. Please know that the heat reaches extreme levels, and all participants will need to sign a waiver to participate. In addition to the student challenges, we'll also feature some spicy interviews with faculty and staff members. Here's a look at some moments from some of our previous Seder Spice challenges. I think, you know, I think guys should be allowed to do steroids. <laughs> like, like, let's... Could you elaborate on that one a little more? <laughs> so, like, let's see how good we can be. What are the actual like, limits yeah, of like, the what human is, body? What is the human limit? Like, how many home runs, how big can yeah. we get? How fast would you say Bolt have actually been? Yes, exactly. Like, <laughs> let's... We should have a league. Not, like all sports, but like there should be a league for every other sport. That's what the XFL like, should the be. The clean league, and then just dirty. Roid rage. Just like, <laughs> just fights every single game. Like, let's see what the body can do. That's that's fair. That's fair. Oh, boy. I recommend Oh, that that's a lot. <laughs> Man, seriously? <laughs> this is like think, soaking. It's dripping. <laughs> I'm not breathing through my nose because I don't want to taste it. But it hurts. Uh huh. We've made it through the whole gauntlet. We're on our final wing now. This is the last dab Apollo. Allegedly the hottest one. You said eight was the hottest one. <laughs> yeah. Right now, your, I agree. It's, uh, <coughs> all right. All right. Oh. What are you eating? I'm not eating it. You can eat it. <laughs> that was bad. Someone I can share, you eat it, I'll eat it. You jump, I jump, Jack. Yeah, uh, someone I can share this last nugget with. <laughs> oh lord, I don't want to. I'm gonna spit it out. Oh. Milk and chicken nuggets. <laughs> Well, no, I need that. This is the bad one. This is the one where people usually get mad at me and I have to okay. watch for fists. Yeah, I'm just going to dive in. That's the, that's the way to do it. Mm. It grieves you. Mm -hmm. Not in a healthy or happy way. Either. Nope. Ooh. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes for you. Yeah. Apollo's the sun god. Mm -hmm. And it tastes <laughs> like oh, the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
There you have it, Crusaders. Let's see who can handle the heat. Now to Olivia for today's clubs. Thanks, JP. The STEM club will meet today after school in room five. Contact Mrs. Smith with any questions. The chess club will also meet today after school in the art room. Contact Mrs. Ms. Quigley with any questions. The archery club will meet at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. They're hosting their second annual archery club versus faculty and staff match on May 2nd at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. Any faculty or staff members who want to participate may practice with the club on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. If you have never shot a bow, they will teach you how. Your age, gender, or physical ability doesn't matter. So if you want to participate, just show up for practice. Now back to JP for more news. Thanks, Olivia. Any seniors who did not upload a baby or toddler photo are strongly encouraged to submit one. Please just email it or Teams it to Mr. Tooley. The photos will be used in the senior slideshow video this spring and also included in the yearbook that will come out in the fall. Contact Mr. Tooley with any questions. Now back to Olivia for today's sports. Thanks, JP. Last night, the baseball team lost at Greenwood Christian. Tonight, the girls' tennis team will play at Cardinal Ritter at 4 p.m. The baseball teams will play against Lutheran with JV hosting Lutheran at 5.30 and varsity playing at Lutheran also at 5.30. The softball team will play at Triton Central at 5.30. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, Indy's own Indiana Fever drafted Iowa star Caitlin Clark number one overall last night. Clark's stardom has helped women's basketball reach new heights in viewership and media attention, and she's expected to help the Fever on the court and off it. Here's a look at some of Clark's highlights from college. Post. She also loves watching Asia Wilson play it. Oh, behind the back and ready to next. Dixon Caitlin Clark doing Caitlin Clark things. Behind the back, is there anything she can't do? I think the answer is no. It's further earlier in my career, I wouldn't be having the time of my life right now. Holy smokes. Another deep three from Caitlin Clark. Incredible. What? Just relentless on the ball. Big defensive play by 22. Excuse me as I pick my jaw up off the floor. First off, we are doing our great job getting this O board. Caitlin Clark comes in. Hello. Here's Marshall with Clark trailing. History in flight. You bet. Caitlin Clark, 3,000 career points. Martin looking. Here's Clark. She fires and goes! She hit it! Wow! Are they going to get the ball up in time? Clark for the win! It's fitting that a basketball star of Clark's magnitude will begin her professional career in the state of Indiana. As we often say, everywhere else, it's just basketball. Now Clark will experience firsthand the love Hoosiers have for the sport. Now back to JP for more news. Thanks, Olivia. Now for our verse of the day. This one is from Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 22. It says, a joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. So laughter really is the best medicine. Laughing is actually really good for you. The Mayo Clinic says a good laugh helps stimulate many organs, including the heart, lungs, and muscles. Your brain releases endorphins when you laugh. It also cools down your body's stress response by stimulating circulation and muscle relaxation. That's really cool. I see what you did there. Hey, I'm just trying to improve your health. Now let's go to Miliano for today's forecast. Thanks, JP. The warm weather continues, Crusaders. Today we're looking at a high of 83 and a low of 62, and a mix of sun and clouds. Some rain is possible, but mostly in the late evening or overnight. We'll cool down just a bit with highs in the 70s in the next couple of days. Some rain or storms are possible tomorrow. Now back to the studio for more news. Thanks, Emiliano. It's really starting to heat up outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've gotten some pretty good days these past few days, but I'm afraid the rain might get a little bit, you know, 
bad about that. Yeah, that's true. Now for our lunch menu. Today, we'll have chicken and cheese taquitos with corn. Tomorrow, it'll be chicken parmesan with green beans. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Now let's see who's celebrating your birthday. Happy 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 birthday. Yoo-hoo. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your day, Crusaders. In our latest RG Poll of the Week, we want to know which teams you have winning their first round matchups in the NBA playoffs. The poll is up in Canvas, so cast your votes, and we'll air the results in Friday's show. Unfortunately, I don't really follow much of the NBA, so I don't really know who's in it, but I do hope that all teams have a great time. Me too. I don't really follow closely, but I heard that the Pacers have, haven't made it to the playoffs in four years, so that's exciting. Hopefully they do well in their first round. Yeah, I wish them luck as well. Mm -hmm. That's it for today's Red and Gold Show. Stay classy. And get that little extra.